Hi, I'm Paddy from Windows for Windows.ie and in this video I'm going to show you how to replace a Coxburr window handle on an aluminium window. So this is a Coxburr window handle and they're usually found on old UPVC and aluminium windows. The spur closes down over a plastic wedge in the window frame which closes and locks the window. Now there are a number of heights available and the height is measured from the bottom of the spur to the base of the window handle. 9mm height handles are usually used on aluminium windows while 13, 17 and 21mm handles are used on old UPVC windows. With aluminium windows the window handle will nearly always be fixed to the sash with rivets rather than screws and the window handle will nearly always be fixed immediately in front of the glazing. So before we start we need to take the appropriate precautions to prevent breaking the glazing. I removed the bottom rubber glazing seal and I can see there is enough room to drill out and remove the old rivets. This gap will be different from window to window. It is so easy to accidentally break the glazing when replacing a Coxburgh window handle. I would definitely recommend taking out the glazing, replacing the handle and then refitting the glazing. So this is how you remove the glazing. With a flat screwdriver remove the rubber glazing seals from the four sides. On the outside of the window, use a flat screwdriver or a paint scraper to remove the glazing beads. In this window, the top bead comes out first, then the sides, then the bottom. On some windows, the sides come out first, then the top, then the bottom. Remove the glazing, in this case it's a double glaze unit. Now you can go ahead and replace the window handle. Before you refit the glazing make sure the channels and grooves that hold the glazing beads are completely free from dirt and debris. Even a small piece of dirt can stop it from sitting in fully. See these pieces of plastic? You might be tempted to throw them out, but these are so important. The double glazing sits on top of these. There's a couple of reasons you need these, but the main reason is so you don't break the glazing when refitting. As you refit the rubber glazing seals, it pushes the double glazed unit out against the glazing bead. If these packers aren't there, the double glazing gets caught in the bottom of the sash as it's being pushed out and breaks the glass. Sit the double glaze unit on the plastic packers and carefully refit the glazing beads. Keep an eye on where the rivets are against the double glaze unit. If your rivets protrude too far they can also break the glazing. When all the glazing beads are fitted, push out on the double glaze unit. Refit the rubber glazing seals, starting with the bottom, then the top and then the sides. The rubber glazing seals should push into place using your fingers. If you are finding it difficult to push the rubber glazing seal into place, it could be because the glazing bead isn't sitting in place properly. Remove the glazing seal and check that all the glazing beads are fully sitting in place. So 
So that's how you remove and refit the glazing. And I would definitely recommend removing the glazing if you have any doubt about the space you have. This is the process of replacing the Coxborough window handle. Use a paint scraper and put it in the gap behind the handle. This will protect the glazing as you drill off the rivets. Next fit a metal drill bit into your drill. This is a 5mm drill bit. Carefully drill the heads off the rivets. Remove the old handle base and remove the remains of the old rivets. Drill out each hole. The new handle lines up exactly with the old holes. So line up the new handle and fit a rivet into the hole. They're using our 4.8mm diameter. Pull the rivet using a riveter and repeat on the remaining holes. Push back the rubber glazing seal. Test the operation of the handle and the window, and to finish off, fit the cover cap. As you can see, the window is difficult to open and close. This is because the hinges are broken. But this is the reason why the existing handle broke in the first place. All the extra force used to open and close the window is put onto the window handle, causing it to break. Check out my other video on how to replace the hinges in your window. And that's how you replace a Coxborough window handle on an aluminium window.